Welcome back to Sid Meier's Civilization VI, Greece as Pericles. We are continuing our march towards Scythia. And let's go ahead and see what this unit is going to do for us. I think we're going to make a mill. We made a mine there, so let's make our mill. we got three more builds on this unit. Pretty decent amount, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and scoot the infantry in as far as we can go. I'm not going to join those guys up into a core. I'm going to leave them as is, and we will leave our cavalry in this area. Actually, I think I'm going to put him in roads and let him fortify in there for the bonus. We should still be getting that bonus, the best of my knowledge. Yes. Retainers. Always a great policy to have. Right, let more turns until we get uh, Patala Palace. And our medic is en route, slowly making their way to the line. And then we'll get open borders, and then we'll go right through Montezuma's territory with his gracious permission. Two more turns, we'll get another trade route. And, all right, so this guy has been upgraded into a core. And let's see, maybe keep him over here in Ephesus for the bonus as well. And as you can see, I love how fast those guys can move across the map. Right? Let's take a quick look at the score. As you can see, we're... We're actually at seven ourselves here in culture, and we aren't even trying. So if we get some um, archaeologists and stuff going, we can make a little bit of a play there for that. It kind of makes, kind of puts a little bit of a buffer for you when you do that. As far as particular victories are concerned, we could possibly make an archaeologist or two. We will have to see. We have a. Uh, Museum in Athens and a museum in Ephesus. So those are our two highest production cities, but we are still making the wonder here. Hopefully we'll pull that off and get that policy. That'd be nice. I was a little concerned about this game because in between segments, the game kept crashing. So I'm hoping that we'll make it through. All right, and there we have uh, Steel Completed. So we'll be able to update our artillery. What I like about city, there we go. And I don't think I really want to change any policies. We might, because we've already upgraded, so we don't need the 50% discount. So we could do, well, we don't have military academies. Right. I don't, I'm not sure this could add to it. Let's see. We don't have a lot of commercial districts, but we'll just take a look and see. We could have replaced it with science. And we could go with science here. We'll keep the spy here. We'll keep everything the way it is. Maintenance and scientists. So let's go ahead and confirm that and see if that helps our... Yes, it did. It helped. So that's always good. And Nasus is probably going to send you to Athens again because... Apparently, we've got a food and growth situation in Athens. Let's go ahead and pair you up with this unit here once you are in range. I don't see this settler anymore, so I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't just move this guy back into our territory. I'm not going to upgrade right now. It's not necessary. Let's see. Where we're going to want another building. So let's just take a look real quick and see if where I'd want to put an industrial zone. Well, we don't have the pop, do we? We need 10, so we need one more. I kind of wanted to pre-plan that because I didn't want to build a farm. Could clear the swamp. We could do that. And let's go ahead and pick our next tech. And that is going to be radio. Yeah, it's going to get us... Well, actually, we could go for rocketry, but we will have to get all these. So 
All right, so we will go ahead and go with flight. I was going to say combustions for tanks, but we're not going to need tanks right now. We have oil. Oh, we don't have oil. We won't have oil for our higher-end aircraft either. We need aluminum for them. Did they change the icon on that airport? Maybe not. I was thinking of maybe the aerodrome. Okay. All right, so, and our Civic... We are still making our way to suffrage so we can get democracy. Let's see. Scorched earth. Could go mass media. Propaganda. Well, less war weariness is always nice. I don't think we're being affected too badly by war weariness right now. I think everybody's yeah, everybody's happy, so we're good. And we haven't had to make any big strives to make entertainment districts, so that's always a good thing. And let's see, we're gonna have to get a neighborhood. And let's see, where are we gonna put that? I'm gonna put it right here. Well, we don't have a commercial hub here yet. That would be a good spot for a commercial hub, so we don't want to do that. We could make it over here. Let's do that. Let's make it over here. That'll give us four housing. Roads. Should we get an industrial zone or should we? Have, we're going to definitely need the neighborhood for you as well. I'd like to make it along the coast if possible. I don't know if I want to make it on that hill. Two seventy-five. I don't know. It's really expensive to buy that. Wow. Should I even do housing right now? What about an aqueduct? Aqueduct would use this spot. So let's go back to housing. I hate giving up the food. We could go one eighty and just get. This tile, I think I think we'll do that. Yeah, that's not too terribly bad. 180 gold, that's not bad at all. All right, next turn. And he is ready to fortify. And let's see if we can't get our medic. No, not yet. Next turn. And then we're going to get open borders with Monty. See, he's still at crossbowman. He is no particular threat. He is probably the biggest... I was going to say he's the biggest... Civ with cities, but I think maybe our good friend Gilgamesh might be, but neither one of them are too big of a threat. I mean, Gilgamesh is last in culture, not too high in... I mean, he's just not a threat of any kind. Let's see, we're still doing 198 in science versus his 105, 39 techs, where we have 46. So that's comforting. All right, and we're gonna definitely gonna want to take advantage of food if possible. We do they want a trade route? They do. However, we want to maximize our bonuses. For example, actually, we need food, so he's gonna go to Uruk. Yes. All right, and let's go ahead and pair up. The medic, and let's go ahead and get. Let's see if we'll be able to. We can't get open borders. Really? <laughs> Make a demand. Huh. Well, that is irritating. All right, well, that's a problem. That means we'd have to march all the way through. See, we can't get past Yerevan, so we're going to have to go through England. Seriously. 
Wow, that is a lot of movements. There's no way, there's no other way around. Yeah, there's no other way around. We have to go through England. Wow, seriously. Okay, well, that's what we're going to have to do. So let's go ahead and pick everybody and just find little places for them to go. That is going to be a long haul. Nine turns. I don't want to... I. Do I want to go to war with Montezuma? Should we just go to war with him? Let's denounce him. Casas Belli. We get a severe... We get a severe penalty. But Monty is... Of no particular threat. I don't really... I don't think it's worth it. It's annoying that we have to go this far. I don't think it's worth it. It's not worth uh, taking out that city right there. He doesn't have anything that I really would want. Outside of dies, which isn't a big deal. He just got walls. It's funny. Yes, I know. I haven't upgraded our... An upgrade for a unit here. AT crew. Night. Okay. That's not. We're not going to do that. It's because he's jammed up with these guys. That is kind of annoying. But that's the way it goes in Civ. No, I'm not going to upgrade him. He's fine. We'll upgrade him last minute. Let's go ahead and clear this. Marsh. Probably should have waited one more turn to have taken advantage of the production. And let's go go ahead and get you a neighborhood. Wow. All right, I think we will go with five right here. And let's go with our next turn. Let's see. That's really weird that it's going there. Why is it going there? Your alliance with Victoria. Okay, that's not an update. Or that was not an upgrade for anybody. Or a promotion more specifically. Yes, we'll be happy to be friends with you. Wish I could do that with Montezuma, but... Well, at least we can go through here. Go through Manchester. Swing around. We're passing by, lady. We're passing by. Hopefully we can get through without having to pay to go through her land. All right. Might make a mill right there. I think I will. I think I'll make a mill right there. I don't know about Big Ben. Would we have been able to make it here? No, I think someone's already made it, looks like. Can make another trade route. Now that I see that. Boy, that wonder has really tied up Athens big time. Not that it's a big deal, because it's not like we're making tons and tons of units, because we've got plenty of units right now, as is. I mean, this I'm pretty sure with what we have here, we could easily take um be able to take Tamiris. Wait, we can't go through her borders? That's kind of strange. Why is that? Is there a unit there? Oh, okay. She's going to give us open borders for the Niter and one Mercury. I am really good with that. And we'll take 18 gold per turn. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that refreshes our ability to go through her territory. Excellent. Why are these guys going that way? I thought they were going to go through here. Let's see. I didn't want to do that. Okay, we, we can go through there. I don't know why. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and move you. Let's just move these guys as far as we can, actually. Because this, this way we won't have to um, keep checking on them manually. Try to avoid the additional movements if necessary we're going to avoid them I'm just going to bring him right to here 
And let's see. AT crew, let's go. Right, let's go ahead and get that research going. We can start working it too. As a matter of fact, let's give it a quick look. Yeah, we got two guys there. We're at 37, that's fine. I'm not in a big rush. We could go food focus, but it's not going to be necessary. Not going to be necessary. And let's see, next turn. Go ahead and make that mill. And let's check our... Supplies here. If we can't... See if Gandhi wants some diamonds. He does. We'll sell it to him. Alright, get that. just get that little extra burst of gold. And we just made a deal with Victoria, so I don't think she's going to want anything else. Does she still want horses? She does. And she'll give us 16 gold per turn? Absolutely. Oh, I'm liking these new changes. Vimba? I don't want to strip. We could see if he wants some mercury. He does. Let's go for it. Wow. That's awesome. 89 gold per turn. We're at 1,000. I hope we're not affecting our amenities. <laughs> I can sometimes get a little carried away with wanting all that cash and end up messing up amenities. Yeah, I'm kind of looking to see if there was a different route we could have taken. I just don't see a better route. She's just simply on the other side of the map, and that's just what we have to deal with. But the thing is, once we take care of her... Oh, that's why we couldn't move to that tile, because there was a builder there. I know, I'm going to move these guys one at a time for the moment, just so I can kind of sort them out. Yeah, see, I can't move to that tile because of the dumb builder. We can't go through Yerevan, or we could have taken that road, but that just would have got us to right there, so, oh well. And we'll go ahead and just move you here, just so we can move these other guys around. So, next turn. So, she's going to clear the Barbarian camp, apparently. Actually, that is India. Minities are looking good. I mean, we sold a lot of stuff. I was a little concerned that maybe we would um, have some happiness issues. But we don't. Everything looks good, so I'm happy. Let's move you into the city for the fortification bonus. How funny would it be if we were to take that camp, but I don't think we have the movements. And we can't move through cities, of course. Except for our own. Stop jumping, camera. Okay. Once we get around her, it'll be kind of smoother sail. Alright, and uh, radio for aluminum. And then we can go for rocketry. How about that? Pretty cool. Alright, speaking of science and rocketry... Let's get another trader. Could get an Archie, but I think we'll go with a trader. Or, I'm sorry, trade route. And can we make another trade route here? No. We could make a spy here, but we could also make a market. And we might need to make a neighborhood. Could even make an Acropolis if we have a hill. Yes, we had a um, earlier in the game. A commenter did remind me that for Greece, your Acropolises have to be on hills. And I actually saw a poster in the forums the other day asking about that. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with a, a go with a uh, workshop. And we have no unit on there, but we'll we'll get a workshop going there. 
All right, let's see. Well, we might as well <laughs> we could at least try to get that, right? And it'll give us some room over here, too. Now, there's no point moving them until I get the bombard out of the way. Are you going to take that, India? Because if you're not, we will. We'll take that 45 gold. In the new update, we are now supposedly able to get through the ice packs a little bit better. Now, you remember in Civ 5, we could go under them with a submarine. But we can't in Civ 6. Perhaps you've tried it. I know I've tried it, and it won't work. I've tried it with... Well, I haven't tried a nuclear submarine, but I think... I might have tried it with both subs. I don't know, but I don't think we can go under the ice packs for some reason in Civ 6. Wow, India just completely gave that to us. Well, we appreciate his generosity. Look at that, 111 gold per turn. How awesome is that? And we're only at five trade routes, too. Right? We will take that. All right, if he doesn't want it, we're, we're going to take it. Wow, okay. Well, that's going to take a little while. All right, guys, I'm going to end this segment here. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next game.